the Divas Champion, Paige. It's been a while since she debuted on the WWE main roster. Her first day, she won the WWE Divas Championship, and I think it's pretty safe to say that it's been all downhill since here. I honestly forgot about Paige from Monday Night Raw until I was preparing for PWTR because I was so interested in what was going on with, well, I wouldn't necessarily say interested in what was going on with Alicia Fox. Basically, that was the takeaway from the Divas on Monday Night Raw for me. I remember Alicia Fox going nuts on Oksana after the match, and I didn't even notice Paige walk away because that's how insignificant she is at this point. And I was fine with them doing what they were doing with Alicia Fox when it seemed as if they were at least attempting to build up a credible competitor. But now we're at a point where she got her ass whooped by Paige and she's still the one getting the attention and Paige is over here doing what? What what is she doing? I don't even know. Yeah, this entire segment involving the divas on Raw here, just no buys. The whole thing with Alicia Fox isn't getting over. It's not interesting to me anymore because like I said before, it was a bunch of random, disconnected, disjointed events that took place after the match, whether she won or she lost. So it doesn't really hold any bearing as far as building anything in the Divas division. As far as Paige is concerned, honeymoon period is over, sweetie. You got to do some shit. You got to get into a feud, a real feud. You got to deliver some promos. Do something to get me best invested in your character because at this point you've been doing the same thing since you get since you broke onto the main roster. You've had a match, you've won the match with the Scorpion Crosslock most of the time, even though you changed it to that stupid fucking name. I don't know why. And you walk away and you're just, you know, happy living the life as a diva instead of the anti diva that you were on NXT. So you you We've got to get Paige to break out and do something now. I'm, I'm getting to the point now where I'm kind of tired of seeing her. Even though I believe in her talent. I love her as a wrestler and as, and as a talent. I'm just tired of seeing the same old shit every week. She's turning into female John Cena in smaller doses. You know, it just goes to show you what the main roster Divas division is. When she came up, if I can go ahead and give credit to NXT for a second, there was legit anticipation for her. There was... Like the give a fuck a meter was actually up for the divas for a change. It was a very strange situation, one you don't get very often. And the give a fuck a meter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the the crowd had their give a fuck a meter was actually in the green section for the divas division. Not very often that that happens, and they've gone in the main roster. Divas division has just depleted her. She's a face because they knew people liked her and were excited to see her, so they kept her face. And she's the most like vanilla individual you could see. The only one who's got any sort of complex character is Alicia Fox, and it's a stupid character that nobody gives a fuck about. So this division is very bad. I think this division just destroys people. They really struggle to create talent all at the same time. Whenever they have talent... It's always you have one standout and a bunch of other people that you're not really doing anything with. And eventually that honeymoon period ends and this happens. So with Paige, I don't know if she can actually fix it. I think it's up to the WWE to create interest in the other people along with her actually developing more of a character that will lead her to success. A wrestler can only go as far as the creative team allows them to do. Well, there are some instances where you have people that just flat out suck. Uh, I'll let you be the ones to decide who do you think sucks. But in Paige's case, I think that she's a wonderful talent. I think that she's a terrific wrestler. I didn't see much of her mic skills, but from the little bit I saw of it, I thought that it was uh, it was decent. You know, it wasn't anything that was you know bad. But she can only go as far as the creative team allows her to. And look, I'm not expecting professional wrestling to get to the point of where we have themes as in something that you would see out of... Uh, Alright, I'm not going to give you an old movie. I'm going to give you something more uh, contemporary like... Uh, Lord, first... here we go. I'm going to give you something more contemporary like... Uh... Winter Soldier. I'm not expecting you to give me themes like that. I'm not expecting you to give me something of that level of sophistication. But I am expecting you to follow some 
degree of storytelling. You cannot give me a character with just one trait and have her do the exact same thing week in and week out. Not even week in and week, week out. There's no reruns in wrestling. Maybe on the USA channel. I mean, not on the USA channel. There's this other channel here in New York where you can see Raw reruns on Sunday. But that's not the point. There's no off-season in wrestling. This is years and years and years. Divas typically have a four to five year career. You're not going to give me the same character for five years in a row. You have to give me something that's called a third dimensional character. You're getting paid somewhere in the, the somewhere between 100 thousand and probably a million dollars to do this kind of job okay i shouldn't be the one that have to tell you this kind of stuff you don't give us a one-dimensional character for years on end okay alicia fox this whole crazy act it's going nowhere and i know that because this has been going on for a month and she's lost Paige, there's nothing she can do at this point i if, if there are uh women out there who are watching this show uh first of all thank you for tuning in to pro uh, well i can't even call it that anymore pw i guess it's pw tv now or no, it's PWTR. Or how about, yeah, PWTR, yeah. Are we really going to be that petty well, can, and just not Can, can I just it? say someone just tweeted in the hashtag PWTR that they would love to see a Page vs. Summer Ray feud. You are the real MVP. would like to announce them the real MVP. Was, was it all capital letters, though? What? Yes, it, it was. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, as I was saying, um, this is a waste of time. We have so many things that we can do during Monday Night Raw. It's a three-hour show, and when you give us content like what you do with the Divas Division, it's a slap to the face of the fans. Get your crap together, creative team. Yeah, I was a fan of Paige, but she hasn't done anything exciting like at all. Um, honestly, just go with the NXT. That's where all the good matches are. For the uh, knock or D uh, Divas knock, uh, I don't know what are they called the women's. Wrestling? Spe speaking know. of, if we can talk about the knockouts, Gail Kim versus Angelina Love this Sunday. But go on. Better be a good match. But what do they call them in NXT? Are they Divas or women's? NXT Divas. Oh, okay. Well, the title's got the women's title. Either way, go watch that. That that's more entertaining. Yeah, I don't know where this disconnect comes into play and why they get it down in NXT, but they don't up on the main roster where things are supposed to matter more. But I pretty much agree with all of my co-hosts here. The honeymoon period is over. I gave Paige a chance when some of my co-hosts on the show were talking, what, in the second week she was on the roster, they're like, I don't like this. I, I said I would... I was willing to give Paige a chance and see her develop and watch to see what she becomes, but that development, it hasn't been there. I'm not seeing it, so I'm at the point right now where I can honestly judge her and say, I'm not interested. And it sucks because I saw her down in NXT, I was so excited about the prospects of her coming up to the main roster, and now that she is there, now that we've got a chance to see what she's able to, I, I can't even say what she's able to do, what the WWE creative team is enabling her to do, and I don't like it. Don't like it at all.